Hello cruise mates. Welcome to our channel. You might have seen on our channel the clip about the top 17 most important items you should not forget to pack for your cruise. However there are also items which you should rather leave at home and not take with you on your cruise. Some of them are even prohibited on board of a cruise ship. Yes you heard correct, prohibited. So, if you don't want to get in trouble and get your things confiscated, then stay on with us and see what these items are. In this episode we will show you the top 13 items which you should not pack for your cruise. Number 1. Iron. We came so often across this question if one could take an iron or a steamer with. Understandable that some would like to take an iron with, so that the dinner outfits are always in top shape, but unfortunately you are not allowed to bring it on board. If you bring an iron or steamer on your cruise, it will be taken and confiscated until the end of the cruise. After disembarking your cruise ship, there will be a small table where you can pick up any confiscated items. But why are those items prohibited on cruise ship? Clothing irons and steamers are not allowed on cruise ships because they present a fire hazard. But don't worry almost every cruise ship in the world offers some sort of laundry service on board if you need it. For more clips about cruise life, cabins, food, restaurants, drink packages, kitty clubs, what to pack for cruise, and many more, see our channel. And of course if you like our clips then please hit the red subscribe button and you will be informed when we upload a new clip again. You might be asking, how strict are the policies and how accurate the checks of the luggage? Let me just tell you, be aware of this, that all checked in bags on cruise ships are scanned. Passengers must pass through an airport style detector but do not have to remove shoes, they will have also a digital photo taken. Okay, enough of the intro, let's start. Number 2, Hair Dryer. You don't need to pack a hair dryer for your cruise. All cabins come with one built-in hair dryer. It's a small, hotel-style hair dryer, but it will get the job done. If you want to see the hair dryer on the MSC Virtuosa, then have a look on our cabin review clip, there you will see the dried in the review. Number 3. Kettles and Coffee Makers. A travel kettle is one such item which is completely banned from being packed in cruise luggage. Any electric items which produces heat are not allowed due to the risk of fire. These luggage restrictions are particularly strict as fire is one of the biggest risks to safety at sea. The most dangerous and likely thing to go wrong is an onboard fire. Same as the iron, the kettle will be taken and confiscated until the end of the cruise. Number 4. Candles and Incense. You want a romantical candlelight drink on your balcony or a wonderful incense odor around you? Sorry but this will be not possible due to the strict fire safety regulations. All flammable items with open flames such as candles, incense, etc. are as well prohibited on board. Number 5. Weapons and Explosive Material. Completely banned from a cruise are obviously firearms, sharp objects such as blades and large scissors. You might be wondering but there seem to be people who still intend to take some fireworks on board. If explosive material or guns are detected, law enforcement will be immediately alerted. Number 6. Beverages and Food. In the interest of health and safety, beverages and food, including partially eaten or home-cooked items, may not be brought on board either. There is just one exception, dry, packaged and commercially produced foods may be taken with on board. Others then buy the MSC Cruise Line, 
Some cruise lines allow passengers to bring up to two bottles of each 750 milliliters of wine or champagne per cabin. There is no corkage fee on the wine if you drink it in your stateroom. Unfortunately by the MSC cruises, passengers are not permitted to bring on board any such drinks for use during the cruise, whether for consumption in their own cabins or otherwise. Number 7. Drones. Drones are the new hot thing. Photos and videos from above are gorgeous, and most every photographer wants a piece of the action. We are not sure what the restrictions are for other cruise line regarding drones, but we know for sure the MSC Cruise Lines unfortunately prohibits drones on board. The main reason drones aren't allowed on most cruise lines is for safety. The cruise line isn't keen on having any drone-related accidents on board that might cause injury to their passengers. Cruises have a high density of people for the given area, which means not a lot of open space to fly a drone safely. Cruise ports also have strict rules as to when and where you can fly a drone. Make sure to check with your cruise line before you bring one on board, as it can be confiscated. Number 8. Illegal Substances. Illegal drugs are of course not allowed on cruise ships, this applies also to substances such as marijuana as well. CDC products are also not allowed, even if it's medicinal or legal in certain states. If you are caught sneaking drugs onto a cruise ship you will likely be handed over to the police and you could face a harsh sentence for drug smuggling. And now let's talk about the items which are not prohibited but just unnecessary to carry with you. You can just leave them at home and use the space in your suitcase for more important goods. Number 9. Towels. Just like a hotel, cruise ships provide you with a set of towels for each person in the cabin, that's to be expected. These towels get of course also regularly exchanged. So if you want a safe space, then leave your towels at home. Number 10. Pool and Beach Towels. You might think, yes okay the standard towels are provided but what about the pool and beach towels? Your cruise ship will provide you with white towels to use in the bathroom and colored towels to use by the pool. You can also take these ashore with you and you'll spot lots of cruisers with their ship towels on nearby beaches. This was at least the case on our MSC cruises so far. These towels are often in your cabin when you arrive. Just be sure to bring them back because you will be charged for missing towels at the end of the cruise. The pool and beach towels are a big place safer in your suitcase. Number 11. High Chair for Kids. If you are cruising with kids, and they need a high chair, don't worry. High chairs are always available in every dining venue on the ship. If you are interested to see it in detail, then have a look on our food and restaurant review. Our kids had some fun to test a MSC high chair, have a look. Number 12. Baby Monitors. A ship is totally different than a hotel. Your cabin is basically out of steel, it is surrounded by the steel structure of the decks and bulkheads that make up the ship, the doors are steel, the pool is steel. So you can say most baby monitors will not work on a cruise ship. There is simply too much steel that your radio signal needs to get through. However, if you want to monitor your baby just in the family room, this could work. Many parents are using a baby monitor inside their room only, and this should be working fine. 
Some families will take a two-bedroom suite and use the monitor to watch their kids sleeping in the second room. Even if you can hear your baby through the wall, the monitor is a great help to see what's going on in the room without opening the door and using the light. But just don't plan to use the monitors for other than this. And our last item, number 13, is soap and shampoo. Depends how specific you are. If you have soap or shampoo that you just have to have, then go ahead and bring in on the trip. That said, every cabin bathroom comes with a soap and shampoo dispenser in the shower. So if you forget your soap, then you are covered. And if you don't care about what type of product you use, then it's something you don't have to pack. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this clip informative. If you want to see more of our cruise reviews, with valuable tips, tricks, and hacks for your cruise, then have a look on our channel. And if you don't want to miss our new clip uploads, then hit the red subscribe button and join our growing Explore With Us family travel channel. We and other cruisers would also love to hear about your cruise experiences. Please share your views and experiences with us and other cruisers here in the comments below. In the description below you will find some more infos, and also the links to our cruise gadgets, which we had with us and would like to recommend to you as well. You will also find a link with some nice cruise outfits, shirts, caps, accessories, etc. Have a look, maybe you find something suitable for you as well. Stay well, be good and see you soon.